Scotty, what's your thoughts on the TV licence in this modern day? Well, unless the BBC are going to put Scotty McClue on, and unless they're going to reinstate local radio, I think they should take their chances with the advertising. You know what I mean? Because sadly, they lost the news battle uh, during the time of Iraq. The BBC were telling the truth, and the government at the time thought, we don't want this getting out there. So they broke the back of the BBC, and now the BBC just kind of do what's asked of them. Uh, you see, and that was such a shame, because right from the very start, uh, you see, the reason the BBC started was because the British government, after the First World War, saw the power of wireless. They thought, oh, my God, it's all the airwaves. You can just communicate. We need to get a grip on this. So they set up the British Broadcasting Company in 1922. And that's when John Reith from Glasgow applied to be their first general manager. He'd been an engineer in the First World War. He'd been wounded, shot in the cheek. And um, he'd also been in the United States and doubled the output for Lee Enfield rifles. So he's a very good industrialist. He wasn't a great father and husband, to be honest. Uh, and he was, he was an eccentric man, but he was a remarkable man, John Reith. And I've met his lovely family. I've met his, uh, his daughter and uh, his son-in-law and his grandson. His grandson did 14 years uh, working with, uh, with the Prince of Wales, now the king. And I've met his granddaughters, very talented, very charming. Um, and, uh, you know, lovely, lovely family, but he was a tough old boy to get your head round. But he did amazing things at the BBC. So you think there was four of them in 1922. Uh, Reith himself, the general manager, a secretary, a programme controller, who nobody knew what they did, and an engineer. Four of them, the British Broadcasting Company. And John Reith incorporated it. And um, here we are 102 years later with uh, an organisation that employs, I think, about between 25 and 27,000 people. But they should really be employing one more. I think you should have the Scotty McClue phone in right across the UK every night. Uh, that's what I think. But there you are. You tell me what you think.